Hi there, I'm Laura Coyle, and I'm gonna talk about patterns inside of patterns in Adobe Illustrator. So if you've ever worked in pattern editing mode, you know it's tricky to do pattern fills inside of your patterns. So what I have here is this dog with this really cute designer trench coat on, and it's a pattern fill. If I go into outline mode, that's Commander Control Y, we can see there's no actual vector art there. That's a pattern fill swatch, and it's right here in my swatches panel. All right, so let's go ahead and try to make a pattern out of this. So I'm selecting the dog, just going up to the object menu and down to pattern make, and I get rejected by Illustrator saying, patterns cannot contain anything painted with a pattern. All right, well, I can get around this, of course. If I go and just, let's see, start with um, a plain old solid rectangle here, just to give you an example. Object pattern make, now I'm inside pattern editing mode, and from here I can select that and apply a pattern. So this is kind of a way of working around that. I'm just gonna shrink this up so I don't confuse it with the actual pattern that I'm making. But what happens when you go to save this is, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and click here to exit and save. I get that warning that tells me that any active content, so that includes like brushes and um, symbols, things like that, will get expanded when this is made into a pattern fill swatch. So I click OK and it makes my swatch, but I know that this is expanded art. And when I drag it out here and look at it in outline mode, Commander Control Y, Commander Control Y, <laughs> I had a momentary, I can't believe I forgot that. Um, here we have expanded art. All right, so that's kind of the process, the overview. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at expanding this uh, pattern art before we go into pattern editing mode. So I've got my dog here and let's go ahead, I'm gonna ungroup it and I'll take these three shapes here and I'm just gonna nudge them aside so you can see this. Um, here are the three shapes. Again, these are just pattern fills and I can go up to the object menu and down to expand dot, dot, dot. And it's already got fill checked. That's exactly what I want to expand and I'll click okay. And so it looks exactly the same, but in outline mode, we can see commander control Y you got, uh, a lot of extra art here and you can see there's even more because it's when I, as I nudge these apart what we're seeing here is you know even this little tiny sliver um, in the center has four tiles in it there and we look at um, back in preview mode this is just a clipping mask that is masking that expanded pattern art well here's where the problem can happen so let me just go ahead put these back into place because they look exactly you know, like the original, everything's great here. Uh, the problem happens when you bring this in to pattern editing mode. So I'll go ahead and group this, then go back to object, pattern, make, and it's moving slow, but it got it there. Um, all right, click on OK. Let's try to zoom in. Ah, uh, it's giving me that spinning beach ball there. So what's happening right now is, <laughs> Pattern editing mode is not happy with this art. There's just way too much of it. Um, every one of these little stripes that I have in here is actually an individual square. It's not, you know, it's deceptive. This pattern looks pretty simple, um, but it's actually kind of complex. So when you expand it and you have extra art around the edges, um, it's just not doing uh, any favors here. It's just too much. So let's go ahead and I'll cancel out of here and I'll show you what to do with that expanded art to make it uh, behave better in pattern editing mode. So I'm going to ungroup this and again, take these three sh little shapes here, move them down so they're kind of out of the way and we can focus on them. And for these, I'm gonna use the Pathfinder. So remember, we've got clipping masks with a lot of excess art around the edge. And what I wanna do is select one and go into the Pathfinder. And I'm gonna use a 
either one of these two pathfinders here. So we have trim and we have merge. Both of these do something where um, the trim will just trim it down to the size um, and merge does the same thing, but it also merges areas that are the same color. Let's just start with trim to see. So I just clicked on that. And now what we can see is if I look at this in outline mode, and let me just move this one aside here, it's perfectly uh, trimmed that art to the clipping mask shape. And uh, if I click on merge to show you the difference there, it's going to just eliminate some of the boundary between those two shapes and make it one full shape. Um, so either way, this art is a lot simpler without all the extra art around it. But one thing that I want to point out to you, um, it's not ideal if you want to come back and edit this pattern art. So in this case, I would suggest making sure that you save copies of everything and that you can, you know, work on a different copy if you need to edit it. Because one thing that the Pathfinder does, trim or merge, is it it does these cookie cutter things. So absolutely everything, every shape cuts into every other shape and we've just got like puzzle pieces for everything we don't have you know when i first created this pattern the background was solid orange and the stripes were solid on top of that orange background but now they're all just perfectly cut out shapes like that all right so let me just undo undo kind of undo my way back to where i was and now i have this much more efficient art. So I'm gonna go and nudge it back into place. I'm gonna take both of these and I'll do the same thing. I'll do merge on that one, merge on this one. Just double check it and I don't see any art around in there. That's great. And let me nudge it back into place. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to nudge and re-register, which is really obviously important when you have art like this where shapes are just abutting like that. All right, so now, We've got much cleaner art. I'm gonna go ahead and try making a pattern again from this object, pattern, make. And that happened a lot faster as you can see. And when I try to move these pieces aside, it's as if, you know, it, it's not giving Illustrator any problems. So you can see a huge difference that just trimming away that extra um, art makes. Now, when you bring something into pattern mode, and this is just for anything that you bring in to pattern editing mode, it doesn't have to do with patterns inside of patterns, but it's doing a, a one level of ungrouping there. So even though I grouped this dog art, it got ungrouped by one level when I came into pattern editing mode. So I want to command A to select all and then command or control G to group it. This is going to make it much easier for me to just you know, option copy one of these and kind of put put one of the dogs in the background. And let's go ahead and make this a brick repeat so it looks a little more interesting. And there you have it. I have a pattern with a pattern inside of it. So I just exit out of here. And if I want to just make a rectangle and just show you, there it is. My name is Laura Coyle. I teach Illustrator online and offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can find out about it on my website, lauracoylecreative.com. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.